What is going on YouTube world? This is Toe for Deluxe back again. This one is a new video from the DLC. This is a uh, just me using a sniper rifle, kind of scavenging around, get picking up guns off the map. But the big reason why I wanted to make this video was because I wanted to do a scuff controller review. Now, not like a unboxing, which is what I seem to find just about everywhere I look. I I looked online when I bought mine and did watched a whole lot of reviews. And almost every one of them was just an unboxing. Like, this is an unboxing, this is what it looks like, this is what it plays like. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a little bit more about what it's like to own one of these things and if it's worth the investment. Because $100 to $150 to $200 for a controller is a hell of an investment that a lot of people can't make. So, that's kind of what I wanted to go over on this video. So, uh, stay tuned. Let's let's start on to it. Um, I got my scuff about, shoot, it's been back in March now. So, it's probably been about six to eight months. I got it, uh, you know, ordered, ordered it online just like everybody else does. Uh, I got the radioactive zombie, the one that's black with uh, white accents of zombie pictures on it. Really cool design all over it. Uh, white thumbsticks, white out buttons. Um, I got the concave, the dome joystick on the right side, the concave on the on the left. For if you don't know what that means, it's a PlayStation joystick on the right and an Xbox on the left. But I have played with the control freaks on it the entire time. So that's the joysticks uh, as far as cosmetically haven't been affected because I haven't hardly ever touched them. They've, they've been under jo under uh, Control Freaks 90% of the time. So, uh, I got mine with A and B paddles on the back and a wired version. Now, right off the bat, one of the first things that I've noticed a lot of people have complaints about with this company is their customer service. As far as their shipping and their... Um, the product quality is pretty good, but as far as getting what you ordered, we I've heard a lot of problems with that. I've got one of I've got my controller and didn't really ever seem to have much problem with what I ordered as far as like I ordered my controller and everything that I ordered with it came in uh, correct I got the right package I got the right stuff I got the right size t-shirt I got the right t-shirt you know uh, I got a whole bunch of the little gadgets and stuff and I think I ended up spending a little over two hundred dollars for mine it was about two hundred and twenty and that was the controller the t-shirt all the gizmos and gadgets uh, the carrying case and the, the gamer grip and all that jazz Another thing, um, as, as far as their product goes and stuff on their, their website, the carrying case does not fit a wired controller. It just doesn't. Um, that's not something that they tell you about on the website. The website just acts like it's a case for all of them. But if you have a wired a wireless one, you take the control freaks off and it fits in there like a glove. If you have a wired one like I do, um, which most of the people that play MLG would use a wired controller, it does not fit in the carrying case so if you're gonna buy one then be wary of that if you, I think you could possibly I haven't really looked into doing it because I didn't want to butcher mine but you I think you can cut a hole in the top of it and slide the wire in there but then you've just got your controller in a padded case with a big wire hanging out of it and that's not quite uh, as convenient as maybe putting it in a bag or something like that so anyways that was the only thing that I was really disappointed with as far as the purchase on my controller it seemed to be exactly what I wanted, exactly what I ordered. Now, I've seen videos and I've heard of people that have ordered it and gotten the paddles wrong on it or um, not gotten what they ordered. My wife, she ordered the, one of the all pink ones. She got a, a she has an all pink scuff controller. And when we ordered hers, she never got a t-shirt and she never got any gamer grip. She ordered a t-shirt with it. And then when we called and told them that we never received the t-shirt, they said they were going to send us a t-shirt with a free thing of gamer grip in it and so we were all like sweet you know great customer service we have never seen that package ever i mean i don't know what happened to it or if it'll show up next year or what but it never showed up and that's been months so uh we both have had ours for a long time now i'm going to get to the the section where i'm talking about the wear and tear of the actual controller because a lot of people want to know if this is going to last as long as uh you know a regular controller or a little bit longer and in all honesty it seems to last just about as long maybe just a hair longer uh, I have wore the finish and I, I'm really really pissed off that I didn't couldn't get my computer or my camera to work I have a camcorder it's HD and I was gonna show you all this stuff but for some reason the uh, the computer won't recognize it so the USB connect doesn't really seem to want to work so that being said I can't really put up pictures which I really wish I could but around the edge where the radioactive zombie meets or the, the top part of the controller meets the bottom part, meaning like the, the half where your thumbs sit and the half where your fingers sit. The um, 
the paint has worn off there. The image of the radioactive zombie around the edges of that, there's been some uh, transparency where it's wearing off that image. Around the joysticks, where the joysticks rub around the controller, that has also worn off the, um, has worn the image off to where it's, it's white around that ring now. It's kind of like an orange color underneath the sides of the controller and on the bottom of the controller where it seems to have been dropped and dinged, uh, chipped a piece of the paint off. So it's not um, invincible. <laughs> you know, they say it's a military grade or some kind of fancy camo paint, but in all honesty, I think it's just thick paint. And just like all paint, it'll wear off if it's handled enough. So sorry to butt in a little bit awkwardly, but I don't really have a better place to do it. I wanted to make a note of the fact that my wife has the the pink controller and the back of hers is white where the grippy side is. And that has complete discoloration. Um, if you plan on getting a controller, unless you're going to wash your hands and sanitize them every time you use this controller, you need to stick with a black back because it will do nothing but collect dirt from being set around or being handled. So a little bit disappointed in that. But her controller does not have a white back now. It's almost like a grayish color. It just soaks up every bit of dirt that is around it. Just a FYI. Thanks. The It has like this kind of a powder coat finish type feel to it. And that does wear off after a while. Or it does get slick. But it's not as slick as a normal controller. So the I guess the camo paint or whatever it is that they give you on the top side that's supposed to make it grippier does kind of lose its effect after a while but it doesn't completely lose its effect it's not as bad as a regular xbox controller um the game the grip on the back the back side of it works great both my paddles still work great um the only problem that i'm having with my controller is that the joysticks wore out now the buttons are fine um one of them i think is a little sticky but that's probably because i have a two-year-old that poured something on it but the joysticks um you know, they're, they're getting beat up. They're getting wore out. Just like normal joysticks would. I would expect normal ones too. My old Xbox controller I had before this was wore out like this. You you know, just from repetitive sprinting over and over and over and over again, it seems to have caused it to get, you know, loose. Like the left joystick doesn't quite, it's not as smooth as it used to be. It's kind of rough. As you move it, you can feel it. And occasionally you push the sprint button and it just won't sprint anymore. The right joystick, which is my aiming joystick, still is kind of rough and the knife um, response time seems to be a little off like it seems to be a little harder for me to get those knife kills but that's about it as far as my satisfactory I will buy another one um, are they a little overpriced yeah but it's not too bad check out this bonus clip there you go <laughs> it gives me a little bit extra time to talk but they are worth their money if you game like we game if you game and it's your only hobby or it's your best hobby your biggest hobby it's just like buying a nice TV or it's just like buying a new console. You want to get the best. You want to get what you want and you want to enjoy it. So uh, I'm sorry. I'm kind of a little choppy on that. <laughs> oh, bad thing about scuffs. When you have those trigger stops, you can't fast forward past like 2% on one or two times on these uh, on theater mode because the trigger stops stop you. <laughs> that and you can't charge up your pistol in Halo. When you're playing Halo and you're, playing, you're using a plasma pistol, you can't charge it up. Anyways, this is Topher. I hope that this really, really helped you. I'm sorry I'm, past, I'm talking past the video. I hope that this really helped you because I was looking for someone that did a review past when they unboxed it. And this is what it is. Six months after the fact. Would I buy it? Yes. Would I spend the extra money on the radioactive zombie? No, probably not. Probably just get a regular cheap controller with no frills and no carry case. Thanks guys, it's Topher and I'm out.